Hey everyone, it's Sean here, your guide to Warcraft, and I'm doing a guide for the Mage Tower. This is Archmage Xylem. Now, I'm a Death Knight. I hadn't got round to doing the Mage Tower challenges. I was waiting till I got a bit of a higher item level. Finally thought, you know what? I'm going to go around and try and do them. So, as a Death Knight, I thought I'd record them and share them with you. So, to start with, Archmage Xylem is going to be casting at you. I would just interrupt, and you want to just begin with your burst, Breath of Sindragosa, interrupt when you can, and he's going to use this which will summon all of the ice shards around you. Best method I would use is save your rhyme proc for your howling blast, this will do a 400% damage crit to all of the spikes around you, then Archmage Island will teleport behind there. Use death grip to pull him back so you don't have to cross any of these pink lasers, you can pull him to you instead. Otherwise, it's just keep burning him down and getting all as much damage as you can. He's going to use that again. For the second one, I actually use my Frost Breath, which will just sort of kill the spikes in front of you and overlap to the Archmage, and then you can Death Grip him back. Don't worry about Frost Breath, because now that's gone on cooldown, we're going to be using that much later in the encounter. So that's just a good way of getting it used and its usefulness done, so you can use it later. Otherwise, really at this point, it is just keep burning him down interrupt when possible and again save rhyme procs here so that when he does this rhyme proc you can just get out as much as possible and obviously you don't want to spend too much time in there death grip him back to the middle if you drop really low just use your death strike get as much heals in you as possible if it's a real emergency situation use ice bound and then death strike because you get about 400 percent extra healing from your death strikes if you do use ice bound at that point now eventually he's going to go into this phase where he has a sort of a load of mirror images you want to just kill the one nearest you this will give you a magic shell when it's about to expire pop anti-magic shell pop wraith walk and then on your mini map will be a golden Little, little pointer there you want to just head to that point in your map as quickly as possible using your wraith walk and anti-magic shell to avoid the damage and just get to that anomaly as quickly as you can that will cause him to respawn then use death strikes you know i use icebound there to heal up as quickly as possible now it is important to interrupt that cast whenever he channels because you he will be doing a stacking buff so that he does more damage. Shortly after that he will teleport and as always get as close as you can and just try and death grip him back in so you don't have to go around. There was also another ability he casts which will cause a load of bolts to sort of come flying at the air towards you. It's important to face those bolts so that you know that you can dodge them sort of coming at you. It's a lot harder to dodge them if your back's turned or if you're side to side. So here they are again. Make sure that you can face them. You know exactly where they're coming from and you can just dodge. And then at this point, once you've gotten him low enough, you will transition into phase two. This will actually take you out of combat so you can eat get any buffs you may have lost anything like that but now you will be fighting this a lot more intimidating so it's important to kite this thing because if you stand in one place too long he will sort of cast this void shadow zone underneath him if you are standing in that that will do a lot of damage so it's important to sort of keep him moving not too much just keep make sure that you're not standing in the purple stuff otherwise what i do is just keep my burst on him Next thing, he's going to cast this at you. It's important now to run as far away from him as possible. And very important, do not interrupt that cast. He needs to get it off. At this point, he will summon three Void Walkers. These will slowly be walking towards him. Very important that they do not reach him or you'll probably wipe. So you want to take them down. I use, because I've got the Cold Heart Legendary Chains of Ice does stun one. Once you kill them, now you'll notice like a third of the floor has just turned into complete shadow. So now it's restricting the area that you have to kite and run away when he does this next. So it's important, keep him on the edge of the void because obviously you don't want to restrict your play area any more than you already have to. Just make sure that you're not standing in the void zone that he's slowly conjuring underneath him just like before. Otherwise, it is just rinse and repeat at this point, so it is just be very careful of the ground. So here, it's sort of slowly, slowly spreading, and then you just want to keep going with your damage. You see he's getting lower and lower. Otherwise, it's very easy. It's just, you know, just pretty much being very careful at this point. Now, here he's going to cast this again. You'll notice that I've not got too much of the space left. I've only got, like, half of the room, but he's quite low. So I only go about here. And now your frost breath should be off cooldown. So now I just frost breath kill the three void walkers, and hopefully the frost breath will hit him as well, just for that extra little bit of damage. At this point, 
pull him away from the extra shadow and you should hopefully still have quite a bit of room left to play with him and then just take him down. And there we go, if you can do all of that perfectly, you can then return to Dalaran and get your new appearance for your Blades of the Fallen Prince. But that's all for this video, I hoped it helped, I know it was a bit late considering that came out a patch ago, but that's all for this one, thank you very much for watching, links are in the description down below and I will see you next time.